Jochen Schwenk, Bernd Fackler, Uwe Schulte and their colleagues have analyzed the spatial and temporal dynamics of ampartite glutamate receptors in the mammalian brain. The results of this study are published in this issue of Neuron and will be introduced in this video. AMPA receptors are the key players of excitatory neurotransmission in the brain and are responsible for quite a variety of tasks in glutamatergic synapses. They participate in synapse formation. They are responsible for fast synaptic transmission, which is translation of presynaptic action potentials into postsynaptic currents, and they are thought to be critically involved in synaptic plasticity. On the protein level, this large functional diversity has been mirrored for a long time by only a small number of proteins. Four glue proteins forming the tetrameric channel pore and members of the family of transmembrane AMPA regulatory or TARP proteins. Recently, proteomic work on native AMPA receptors has largely expanded the building blocks of these excitatory receptor channels by identifying an additional set of more than 20 different proteins, mostly transmembrane and secreted proteins that include the cornichon proteins, the CCAMP44 protein or the GSG1L protein. According to these results, AMPA receptors are envisaged as macromolecular complexes that are assembled from distinct subsets of these proteome constituents. As depicted here in a molecular modeling, the AMPA receptor complexes are made up from a core that is composed of the pore-forming glue tetramer and up to four members of the auxiliary proteins TARPs, cornichons and GSG1L. This core may be extended by further constituents that assemble onto the inner core proteins and thus form the periphery of the native AMPA receptors. The appearance of this molecular diversity in the mammalian brain, however, has not yet been resolved. For profiling the distribution of the AMPA receptor proteome across the brain, we divided the adult red brain in defined regions. We isolated the cortex, hippocampus, cerebellum, brainstem, salamus, striatum and the olfactory bulb. After appropriate solubilization, the entire pool of AMPA receptors was affinity isolated and subjected to high resolution mass spectrometry. These analyses were done on modern tandem mass spectrometers, which provide data on both the identity of proteins as well as on their abundance. The latter was derived from LCMS spectra, from which intensities are integrated over time and mass, resulting in MS signal intensities or peak volumes for any peptide which finally determined the amount of the respective source protein. After calibration of these peak volumes as obtained by integration of the respective peptides into artificial standard proteins, these quantification procedures enabled direct comparison of the protein amounts of any AMPA receptor constituent. When related to the number of AMPA receptor tetramers, these quantitative data indicate the average stoichiometry of the glue proteins in the native receptors. Thus, in the cortex, the AMPA receptor pore is primarily assembled from GLUE2 in equal amounts of GLUE1 and 3. The inner core is mostly made up from TARP8 and cornichons 2 and 3. Similarly, AMPAs in the other brain regions display defined composition, revealing a considerable diversity and regional specificity for core and periphery. Thus, AMPAs in the cerebellum are dominated by GLUE4. The core of hippocampal receptors, besides conchon 2, is mainly assembled from TARP8, which only plays a minor role in the thalamus, where it is replaced by equal amounts of TARPs 2 and 4. Similar to the core, the periphery of the receptors shows considerable diversity across the brain regions. The proteomic data from the brain regions necessarily reflect a composite of different neurons and functional states and thus represent averages over a diversity of AMPA receptors. For estimating such averaging and to enhance resolution and specificity of the AMPA receptor composition, we analyzed the receptors present in microtissue punches, excised from slices of defined subregions of the brain, as illustrated here for the stratum radiatum of the hippocampal CA3 region. Overall, the subunit composition of the AMPA receptors in the microsamples is in good agreement with the regional samples. However, more detailed inspection indicates deviations for individual constituents, mostly the peripheral subunits. 
In addition, the microsamples better resolved the large differences between AMPA receptors in the distinct regions shown here for the CA3 and the molecular layer of the cerebellum. Together, our proteomic work demonstrates that native AMPA receptors are macromolecular complexes whose subunit composition displays substantial spatial and temporal dynamics. The proteomic data presented in our work may serve as a roadmap for any in-depth investigation pursuing the functional significance of the individual protein constituents for the characteristics and function of AMPA receptors as well as for their role in excitatory neurotransmission as has been initiated by recent work also published in Neuron.